Now the weekend's nearly here. Start your Friday the right way with Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. Prince William won't go to next month's World Cup as protests grow over Qatar's human rights record. He was due in the Gulf state as president of the Football Association, but his decision to watch from home follows concern about the treatment of gay fans. Breaking news overnight. The world's richest man, Elon Musk, buys Twitter for £38 billion and sacks the chief executive. Also this morning, it's stalemate at Stormont as a midnight deadline to form a government passes without a deal. Well, an election is now inevitable. Sinn Féin blames the DUP. But the unionists say they won't budge until the post-Brexit trading deal is scrapped. A crucial test for the new Prime Minister. Harmony Rose's new knees. We're catching up with one of our previous Pride of Britain heroes as she becomes the youngest person in the world with revolutionary computerised joints. Oh, adorable. And will comedian Mo Gilligan break America? He's been tipped to take over a late-night chat show stateside. He joins us before nine, while the man in the chair right now, James Corden, tells us he can't wait to come home. This place is amazing, this, this little island. I've always been very, very proud to, to call it home. Friday, 28th of October, 2022. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Charlotte Hawkins and Adil Ray. Hello there, good morning. It has just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. And it's Friday. It is Friday. Friday. It is Friday. Do you have a Friday feeling? We do have a bit of a Friday feeling. And do you know what the good news is? Go on. The clocks go back. Oh, yeah. Over the weekend, you get yeah. an extra hour in bed Ooh. on Ooh. Sunday. Don't forget that one. Wow. I'll put spring in your step. Although it does mean darker mornings. Right which can, of course, make people feel a little bit gloomier first thing. 